Hey guys, tonight I bring to you two reviews. It's going to be a quick video. The first reviews we're going to do is from at it's a site that Readiness Reviews recently turned me on to, Victory Arms and Munitions. They have a lot of uh, surplus stuff, firearm stuff, mags, ammo. So we're going to touch base on my order from them, which I'm happy with. Then we're going to touch base on my Apex order, which has a little story to go with it. But I'm also happy with it as well. And I got this cool new shirt. It's an Amazon deal. This is Comblock. Terrible government. Awesome guns. If that couldn't be any more realistic. Or any more on point. So, we're going to switch the camera around here in a minute, and we're going to go over my Victory Arms Munitions order. It was actually a two-part order. These first two parts came in. I actually have a third package coming in, a bigger order, but that's mostly U.S. surplus stuff, stuff like that. I might do a review on that. I might just wait till I get to my American surplus videos. So... We're going to go ahead and stop here and uh, take a look at some of the orders. All right, guys. So my Victor Arms and Munition order, I got three surplus PPS-43 mags. They're mint condition. That stuff you're seeing is caked on Cosmoline. This is how I opened this stuff. I didn't do anything to any of the stuff. It is caked. These two are so caked they won't come apart. I couldn't even pry them apart. I wiped away some of the Cosmoline. They're perfectly blued. They're going to go with another video. I have one of those guns we will be reviewing as well. I got a Yugo Military Surplus. Grip. Use condition. I think it's just going to make my ZPAP look more military-like. Couldn't find a Serbian or Yugo sling for a reasonable price, so just got a Romanian surplus one. Really good shape, really good condition. That's going to fill the bill. Here is a buttstock cleaning kit. That's going to go in my new DPMS anvil. That I just got my American Made AK. An AK blank firing adapter. I think they wanted one dollar for that. Something along those lines. And a Turkish Mauser bandolier. And I have another one of these empty. It's a cheap way to hold Mauser ammo. Over with some of my stuff, I have a bunch of loose 8mm surplus. I'm probably going to put it on the clips, put it in the bandoliers when I get a chance. So that's my order from those guys there. We'll go ahead and break here and take a look at my Apex order. Okay guys, and we're back. So this order was from Apex Gun Parts. And I couldn't be happier. I got a Polish flare gun, Soviet area. That's the tag that comes with it. 226.55, no, 26.5 millimeter, rather. I'm so used to saying rifle calibers. Blued steel, they call it good condition. However, I'd call it really good condition. And... I had a little bit of a bang up with the order. Ordered them, checked my bank account later on. Noticed the order was way more than I thought it was. That's because I had trouble ordering when I tried to add the handbag. That is Radom Arms, the Factory 11 symbol. This one is a 1951. 
really good shape. Trigger hammer. You use that right there to open it. It's a little bit of a pain when I'm holding the camera in the other hand. Here's the shoulder bag. Unfortunately, the only bag they had at a reasonably price or in stock at all was Yugoslavian M57 bag. So, for the Yugo flare gun, they're all about the same. I'll show you what it looks like in the bag. That's where the story gets funny. It's easy to show you what it looks like because it was so much extra. Here's where you put your flares, tools. Because I accidentally clicked on the flare gun button twice. So, I'm the proud owner of two Polish Radom Arms flare gun. This one is a 1967. So that's a 1967, and this other one is 1951. That's what they look like together. They're just a copy of any of the other ones. All the Comblock flare guns looked very similar for the most part. Patterned after Soviet flare guns. This is in real good condition. When I have the funds, I'm going to go ahead and get another bag. I'm going to try to find the Polish bag, but if not, it fits nicely in this Yugo bag. And that was my order from them. It was supposed to just be a flare gun and carrying case. Basically, I would have used it as props for future videos, especially when I get to the Polish videos. But I'll tell you what. For the price paid on Apex.com, and as hard as these are getting to find, they're in good shape. For what they say is good, they're in really good shape. There was no rust, no pitting. I'm pleased. They're bound to go up in the future. Their value is only going to go up. So even as an investment, it's not considered a firearm. It's not an NFA item. It's not considered a firearm at all by the ATF. It's a signaling device. So, you get it right to your front door. I like how they have the military lanyard loops on there. These ones come with the plastic grips. The bluing's nice. You see a little bit of wear. No rust, no pitting. I'll tell you what, I was very impressed with these from Apex. And I'm really impressed with Victory Arms munitions. I've now ordered three times from them. You've guys seen two of the orders. You might see a third one soon. So that's it for tonight, guys. Stick with the channel. Continue to support me. Tell your friends. I'm going to have a lot more videos coming up. Thanks.